what up guys in this video I will tell you why you should raise your state of consciousness throughout your day why it will raise your self-esteem and why it will enable you to live the life that you deserve to live a life full of joy happiness and just a state of feeling freaking great that is what this video is going to be about and I hope you stay tuned so you can hear the simple small little practices that we will do throughout this week to raise our level of consciousness. Consciousness, that is what this video is going to be about because it is the first and most fundamental pillar in the realm of building self-esteem because that is what this channel is about and that is what has been the focus for the last 14 weeks I believe it is and it comes from the book the six pillars of self-esteem written by Nathaniel Brandom and if you've been with us for a while you may wondering why I'm doing this again because I have already been talking about consciousness and I'm gonna tell you why consciousness is the most important thing you can do to start build your self-esteem what you just need to practice over and over again to keep that high level of self-esteem up why is that and what is actual consciousness well it's a state of being present it's a state of being in the moment getting real with reality not deceiving yourself not trying to make up a story that isn't true it's just accepting what is taking in what you're feeling if you're feeling sad but you're trying to just mask it with external sources you're watching series you're eating then you're not being conscious then you're not practicing a mindful state and if you're not doing that you can never 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 reach a state of high self-esteem because self-esteem it's something that it's fluctuant it's not constant it's not like now I've attained high self-esteem now we'll always be there that is not how it works self-esteem is built on continuous repetition of the right actions the right actions that aligns with how you want to live with values beliefs and goals that you have put out there to the universe or at least to yourself what your universe consists of so being conscious, mindful, aware throughout your day, it is the number one thing you need, I said need to do, if you want to live a life with, self, with high self-esteem. The very essence of it is the reputation you acquire with yourself. If you go out and do something repetitively, the actions you take, that is what defines you as a person it doesn't matter if you have this self-concept of who you are like I am the environmental guy I never throw trashes in the environment I buy the right kind of food if you have that concept you have those thoughts but then you're not actually practicing that the actions you take does not align with what your values beliefs and goals are and that will make your self seem like boom go way 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 down there you have to live the life that you set out to live because otherwise you will feel like a fraud so if you take these actions constantly that isn't in alignment with how you want to live it makes you feel bad it makes you decrease your self-esteem to a level which will color and taint your whole way of living you can't stand your ground in a assertive way because you're doubting your, your actions. You know you're not living the life you ought to be living. And that affects everything around you. Your mind state, your level of feeling happy, everything I'm telling you. And what's so amazing with a higher state of consciousness is that you start to pick up on how this is being played out in your life if you're not taking the actions you know you should take you realize hey I didn't do that now but you can only do that if you have a higher state of consciousness if you just push these thoughts 
and emotions down because it is triggered by emotions. You will feel things when you do and act in ways that isn't the way you should act. It will make you feel bad. But if you haven't raised your consciousness to a level where you can pick up on that, you won't change that behavior. You first need to be honest with yourself and you can only be honest with yourself when you realize what is going on. Then change can happen. Consciousness is the first starting point of the self-esteem building process. If you're not being conscious first, you can't be self-acceptant, you can't take responsibility, and you can't change the way you're living. It is the first and crucial key to changing, to growing your self-esteem. And that is why you need to do that if you want to live the life you deserve. That is an undoubtable fact that we have to accept and we have to start living by if we want to raise our level of self-esteem. And maybe it's okay for us to not just be that aware of everything. Why do we have to have a pulse check on ourselves constantly? Isn't that a bit neurotic? Maybe it's taking too much attention on stuff that isn't really necessary. I mean, if I can enjoy life by watching good series and eating good food and just have a good time all the time, why, why shouldn't I do that? And that is a good question and you should ask those questions. Because it's not until you find reasons, answers to why you need to change something that you actually will do the change. Proper motivation is also key to long-term sustainable change. But the thing is that by going after the, this higher state of consciousness, you will start to be awakened. You will start to wake up to what life really could be like. I mean, if you look at my little brother, he is constantly in this bubble. He is living his life through external sources of inputs, gaming, podcast videos, headphones on, taking in stuff, 95% of his awakened time. It's very hard to have any kind of conversation with him. But he seems happy. He seems like he's enjoying his life. But he's not moving towards any particular goals in any efficient manner and that's what this is about or self-esteem it's about creating the life you deserve to live creating the life that you have the ability to live your real dreams and goals and not waking up in 10 years and realizing that hey what what have i been doing here what have I actually what have i actually put out to the universe of course we all have different levels of what we want to what our purpose is with life but once you start to wake up you realize that those things are more and more important to you that they should be because that's when you truly truly feel alive I, I mean I've been living this external source life as my brother for many years but it's not until recently for the last year particularly for the last 12 weeks and I've been working with this book to develop my self-esteem that I have awakened. I've truly been awake. The level of just feeling alive development, special moments that have come to my life as a result of raising my state of consciousness but also working with these other six, six pillars. It's just out of this world. And that is now my mission to convince or not convince, I'm not gonna, not gonna force something on you but try to make you understand why it's so important. And now I'm gonna pause this video for a little while. Ah, it's not a problem. I can't show a pause. No problem. Ah, so these two fellows are just gonna be picked up by that boat. <laughs> so I'm back. Maybe it was good that I got interrupted, but sometimes I go a bit too deep into a topic. I want to sh keep these videos short. I want to keep them effective. I want to get down to the practical implication because true change, true self-esteem is built by action, action, action. Repetition over and over again leads to changed behavior. The thing I usually say is that running a marathon, that's some good, good practice. 
but it won't change your life because it's, because it's something that happened once and probably will take a whole lot of energy and maybe not create a good emotion to that change behavior. But walking for 30 minutes a day, running two kilometers a day, that is something that can make you change for real. Why am I talking about this? Well, it's because I wanna talk about the objectives of the week, the actual implementation that will make you start to become more consciousness. Because in the end, it doesn't matter what I say, that is what has to happen. You doing some kind of change behavior, and I'm gonna have different levels of actions you can take, starting at the top level, which is gonna be very simple, straightforward, and take like five minutes a day. So the objective number one is to, throughout your work week, school week, your week, Monday to th through Friday, five times a day, have an alarm set, or just know where, when you're gonna do this. Just pause your life. When the alarm rings at, say, 12 o'clock, just pause, and you just take in what is happening in your context, where you are. Be present, how are you feeling? What thoughts are popping up in your head as a result of what is going on? If it's lunch and maybe you're enjoying your time, just reflect upon that. Write some notes about this little reflection in your iPhone. Being mindful is about taking in the reality you are in. It's about not letting all everything around you clutter, clutter your mind. If you want to start to develop a higher level of consciousness, you need to pick up on the small things. You need to pick up on how you are feeling internally, because that is what consciousness is about. For you right now, as a base level, start to take in your world and how you're feeling within. That is the first objective. The second objective of this week is for you to practice some meditation. Meditation is like the gym workout where you actually build your muscles and then you use them throughout your day. Just having five minute meditation practice, 10 minute meditation practice, for me that just means sitting down, closing my eyes, breathing. That's it. A lot of thoughts is gonna come up when you're new to this. I'm still super new to meditation, but I'm starting to enjoy it more and more. It's been a big hurdle up for me, like really pushing myself to just do it. But now I'm starting to, without forcing myself, doing it regularly, daily. It also comes down to creating a sustainable habit. For me, it's about sitting down on the train during my daily commute. That's my meditation time but you design your habit. And I can link some videos which will introduce you in a very nice way to meditation. But that is the second prioritized objective of the week. Doing some shape form of meditation for at least five to 10 minutes a day. The third objective of this week is to do the sentence completion exercises that Nathaniel Brandon outlines in his book, The Six Pillars of Self-Esteem. That is basically four to six sentences which are half done. You are supposed to end them. And they are in the they are describing consciousness. So it's supposed to to make you aware of what you actually are thinking about, what the subconscious mind is, what mindfulness is. So you can start to have a focus on it and then start to apply it throughout the week. And it actually works really well because I have been doing these sentence completion exercises previously. For example, living consciously to me means, that is one sentence, and then you are gonna end this sentence with five to 10, six to 10 different endings, I think it says. So living consciously to me means being present and aware throughout my day. Living consciously to me means listening to my emotions and thoughts. Living consciously to, means, to me means taking the appropriate action throughout my day. Living consciously to me means treating myself, talking to myself as I am a, as a good friend would talk to myself. You see, this is what I'm just coming up with very spontaneously right now. But that is the idea. It is an exercise to start create awareness within what consciousness actually means to you and then actually creating a subconscious 
action through that awakened state of what it means. It actually, actually works. It is kind of boring, if you ask me, but the result is worth the boring moment. Because the idea is to do it morning and evening. But that is the third objective of this week. I want you to do it in this order of prioritization. prioritization. If you reach for too much, you will just get overwhelmed. So start with just the, the first objective. If you are new to this and you want to do this and you don't want to get, over, get overwhelmed. Focus in on being conscious throughout your day and it will raise your self-esteem. I'm telling you. And so that is this week's challenge. Raising your consciousness so we can start to raise your self-esteem. It is gonna be a prolonged journey. We are gonna be working with, with these pillars, the six pillars of self-esteem. I want to iterate on this because I want to find the best way to help other people grow. I want to help myself grow. I'm only in the beginning of this journey, but the journey is tremendous and it will change your life, hopefully as much as it has changed me because it is an awakened state. It is the life we all deserve to live. So, thank you so much for watching. If you want more of this, don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise, I wish you a great, great day. My name is Alexander Nilsson. Bye, guys. That it just happened. Ah, <laughs> uh, refreshing. Ref refreshing.